What's up YouTube, it's NG, and I'm back, and today I'm into the newer phones. It's a special headphone that I've liked since I've heard them like a year ago. Um, recently, I was online, uh, I think it was Instagram, and I saw that they had a subscription service. It was the first time I've ever heard of it where you you know you sign up and you get to pretty much rent one of these high-end headphones for you know a somewhat small monthly fee and get to experience this quality sound now as you know if you watch my videos before I really do like headphones. I, I keep trying to find that perfect pair to fit all of my audio needs. I have yet to find it, so no, I keep on buying and returning and buying, just trying to find that one that hits or ticks every box. Well, today we have the Nero phone. As you can see, pretty good build. They're about a year old, at least not, well, these are new, but I first heard of them about a year ago, and I, I got to test them out at a booth at my local mall where they had all of these, at the time, new tech knowledge that were coming out. They had the Facebook, uh, what, what's it called, the, uh, their video chat screen that is uh, pretty popular now, I know it came out this Christmas, or at least they started to push it this Christmas. Um, they, they had that there, they, they had these, they had bone conduction headphones. It was a nice little booth just showcasing uh, newer technologies that aren't really uh, known. And the newer phones was one of those technologies. Now, what these are is pretty much earbuds combined with over-ear headphones. So those earbuds can de deliver that sound that directly into your ear while the over-ears trap whatever sound is trying to escape and try, well not try, and also provide really good bass. These things, when you turn when you, when you turn up the bass, they actually start to pulse, like those high end bass uh, speakers that you know you have in your house, or when you go to a club or what have you, you know that doo, 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 that really thumping sound. These things can actually produce that in your ear, and you feel the. I don't know what kind of material this is, but you feel the headphone actually pulsing to the base of the music that you're playing. It can get quite loud, actually quite annoying too. But, um, I just want to talk about the headphones and the service real, real quick. Uh, pretty much, I'm paying, at least for now anyway, $17 a month. For these headphones it's not a rent to own it's just you pay them you get the headphones and you you get access to their website and their app there's a bunch of like free music and shows and things that they say will take advantage of this particular set of head of headphones now um there's d d different price tiers uh i went for the easy, easy easiest one to me you pay them 17 bucks and they send you the headphones. These normally re retail for about, I think it's 400 bucks, brand new. So they're pretty up there in a price. Um, but if you if you just wanted to try them, and I, I think that was the whole point of them doing this newer now, uh, sub, sub, sub subscription is just to get the word out and to get people to try this new form of headphone. Because truth be told, I mean, Someone like me, I would have bought a pair of $400 headphones. I've done it be, 
before, but it is from a name that's not particularly well known because they are relatively new in the headphone space. So they did the next best thing, which I think is a really smart move. That's just send these th things out. People can try them for a monthly fee. If they like it, perhaps they'll buy a pair and not have to con continue with the sub subscription or keep the sub sub subscription because you can get these for as low as 10 bucks a month which pretty much you won't even most people won't even blink at that but that was an extra down payment and it cuts the pricing of your monthly expenditure on the headphones down but yeah it's the first time I heard of a sub subscription service for head headphones. I mean, I have it for the audio, but for an actual pair of, or hardware or, or audio hardware, it came. It took me by surprise. So I said, "No, let me try it." And I have to say, these are some of the best sounding headphones I have ever heard. Now they come with noise or noise can can canceling. You know, you, you you need to have that if you're gonna charge someone four hundred plus dollars for well you don't need to, but it is the common thing. Most of these head headphones now have the noise canceling built in. These have it. As your touch panels here. Um the options are pretty sparse. You get to select what each touch does. You have single tap or double tap on both sides and each side can be something different if you want you just have to change songs fault adjust the volume uh you can set it to play or or pause you can have it uh turn on transparent mode you know you know when you you have them on but you want to hear the world uh around you the outside mics kicking and pumping the outside world so that you aren't completely cut off. You you can also have it turn off the A, A and C. So there's a few little things you can do with the little little touch pads. Not as many as others, you know, where you have swipes and touches and uh, rotations and such. But it works pretty well. Me, I have mine set, both sides set to play or pause. One side turns on the transparent mode. The other side turns uh, off the noise canceling. Because sometimes you don't need it on. Um, in a, along with the headphones, uh, it, there is an an app called Neura. I forgot what what they called it. Hold on. Was it Neura Now app, perhaps? All right, hold on. Oh, they're not even connected. I wonder if I could connect these things without actually turning. Well, I guess I have to put them on for them to actually turn on because that's how they work. When you put them on, they turn on. Yeah, and there, there you go. As you can see, it is connecting to the headphones and there it is now the cool thing about these headphones oh wait, look how the light just adjusted weird yeah the cool cool thing about these headphones is um they actually adjust to the user's uh type of hearing it runs a, a bunch of tests on your hearing it sends little beeps and bloops and whatever it it does and it gets your I guess your audio sig signature that's what I call it and when it does you get this weird little I don't know if you can see this, this little weird blue pinkish blob and it's that blob why do you keep uh, trying to adjust to my screen that's very bothersome I gotta show show them the blob please Thank you. Yeah, you get this blob 
Well, it's and apparently that's how it knows how to play the music on the headphones. And down here, as you can see, uh, it has a level of e immersion that you want. Now, I have it set to low just for now. I was playing some, I think, classical last. And uh, you didn't need all, all of that. But if you turn it up, the immersion, these things really can come to life. The soundstage is beautiful. Uh, I mean, they don't get overly loud, but they get over, overly clear. And I've been able, able to hear notes and chords that I didn't know were in songs that I actually like. So these are songs that I've played, excuse me, hundreds of times before, and playing them through these with this special personalized sound uh, that it does for the wearer, I was actually hearing parts of the song I didn't know were in the song, and that's what I always found. I that's what I think is the calling of a really good pair of headphones. If they can bring your favorite music to life in such a way that it seems new to you, then they've done their job. These ones have done that. I mean, I was playing, uh, what was it? Hotel Cal, 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 California. Beautiful. Um, not numb by Lincoln Park, um, 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 was it none? No. There's one there that they have on their, uh, their remixed album that came out, what was it, 2002, or was it? Uh, the, the re animation album, the last song, um, Crawling. Now, I don't know if you've heard that version of Crawling by Lincoln Park, but they have all these vi violins going and pianos, and I mean, the audience is just beautiful. And through these, it really brought a, a tear to my eye. It's just so rich and powerful through these particular headphones. Because turn up the immersion just enough, and you really do feel like you are right there. Chester Bennington, God bless him, I hope wherever he is, he is finally happy. Hearing him through these, and his voice swirling with all these other instruments brought me to tears. That's how powerful I can say these things are, how immersive they can become. With certain tracks, with other tracks they don't do as much. But if there's a lot going on on a track, the immersion plus the sound the separation that these things can produce is something amazing. So yeah, I I do think that these headphones are worth. Well, you know what? Let's not say say that. These things go for four hundred bucks new. I think if you look on eBay and such, you you might you find them for like two hundred, like half half the price. And I can attribute, attribute, uh, attribute that crazy price drop to one the main thing. They are not comfortable. I can wear these for maybe an hour, two hours tops before I start to get that ear fatigue. There's no ventilation for your ears. So they start to get, well not get hot, but they start to warm up pretty quick. The buds that go in the air start to feel uncomfortable after a while. It's not the first time that I've had this feeling. I also had it with the uh, Echo Buds. As nice as those sound, those things have, have some really good good bass. You couldn't wear them for long. They just didn't feel comfortable at all. After about an hour, you just had to take them out or you would start to fill with them and adjust them. You're like, wow. these Those compared to the Echo Buds or my uh, the San Higher San the San Heiser's momentum. Those are some very comfortable ear earbuds. You can really wear them and kind of forget that they're there. 
Echo Buds, not so much. These, same issue. As good as they sound, if you if you want to have any kind of prolonged aud aud auditory experience with these, it's not going to happen. To tolerate the level of discomfort that these things produce after that hour and a half to hour mark would be is unne unnecessary. I mean, I get that they need the buds to go in because that helps with the immersion, the cups traveling the sound and delivering those deep tones. I mean, it works, but it, you just can't take it for that long. And that there is the issue with these. Now, that's probably why they decided to, decide to do it on a subscription service. So you can decide for yourself without shutting out those big those big bucks. They're really good headphones as long as you know, know how to actually or properly use them. These can never be your own your only set. As you if you take the bus or you take constant flights or trains or what have you if it is a long ride and you need you want to drown out those who are around you these are not the headphones because anything like it anything more than an hour and a half maybe two you, you're gonna have to have to take them off i mean i carry two three pairs of headphones on me at all times again i have issues i have my over ears i have my buds i have my wired so for any for any situation i'm covered most people aren't like me they have one and they keep it at that if these were to be your one good pair of over, over ears you would be mad you will enjoy listening to them for the time that you you can but you will have to take them off and let your ears breathe now i guess it really deep depends on how long your listening sessions actually are me they can go for a pretty long time i really will just zone out let my mind go and do whatever i'm doing with my head my head phones on when i can but that's why these aren't my only pair. But yeah, these things are really, they sound great. You can't take that great sound for long, but they do sound amazingly clear, concise, pristine. They got that audio sig signature, especially when you, you turn on the pers personalized uh, audio sig sig signature they they got really well it is it's a beautiful beautiful sound i just wish they were more comfortable and that's the problem now as far as the service goes i think m more companies should actually start to do things like that um now, I, i'm pretty sure that every Everyone out there wants a good pair of headphones, and the high, the high end or the more popular ones are pretty pricey, two, three, four, five hundred, five hundred bucks easily. Um, if companies really want to get their product out there, a service like this, like what Neurophone is providing. I think is a pretty good option. Me personally, and as much as I like headphones, I would not have considered buying the newer phones. But I heard them that one time they were good. There wasn't nearly enough time for me to get um, all of the quirks out to really feel how the headphone to really ex experience it in the aud auditory sense and the physical sense. Now that I have, thanks to this little monthly subscription, I can definitely say, yeah, I'm going to buy these headphones. Probably not new. And that's because of the discomfort issue. 
but to spend uh, 200 and change, I think that would be worth it because they do sound that good. They really do. Yeah, but um, if more companies, at least with headphones, like I would love if Sennheiser would uh, do it because there's a pair out, out there that, I, what what is it called? I don't even remember. I need to look it up. I, I think they're, they're like twelve hundred dollars. And yes, I am looking to somehow get those. But if somehow I could just hear them, I would be happy. I have no idea where, I mean, there's no Sennheiser store as far as I know, at least not in my area. And I don't know if those are headphones they like, they would just have on a soundstage for you to hear. Maybe they would. But, um, something like that, I would love to get my hands on. I'm not rich, so to go out and pay 1200 bucks for a pair of headphones is a little just. A little crazy to me I mean I would do it if I had the disposable income without a thought and when I get there <laughs> yeah I will have a pair of two but until then I would like to, to at least be able to ex experience what that sounds like now these ones I, I have some headphones that are more than this but I'm happy that I was it, that they gave, gave me the chance to hear this new take on audio from over air headphones the earbuds the cups the pulsing in internals the bass it really combines to make a really 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 good auditory sound it's really clear and the monthly subscription i think it's fair um i'm paying 17 dollars a month well this is my, my first month if i couldn't continue that's what i i would be paying um but, but there's also a 14 dollar a month here and a 10 dollar a, a month here and like i said that 10 to 10 bucks a month most people most people won't even blink at that you might even forget that you're paying 10 10 bucks a month but um yeah that's pretty much it. Just wanted to share w w with you guys this set of headphones that come with the NeuraNow subscription service. I signed up and what, not even a week later, I had the headphones. It came with a, car a carrying case. Um, there's a... 3.5 inch headphone jack that plugs into this proprietary connection here, but at least it does have one. The charging is US, it's not US BC, it's a uh, again proprietary. But Jupiter, I've since I've had these, I've charged them once and they're at 70 percent. It, it came at 40 percent. I use it till it was maybe 20% charge it back up and I've been using them every day just to really test that sound and it's at 70% so these things have really good battery life I mean the fact that you can't you use them for over two hours at a time that probably contributes to that really good bad bad battery life because most people can't uh, run these down in even a week because your ears will not be happy as, as, as good as the sound is the your phys your physical ears will be upset but um if you can, if you can deal w w with that and to me that's that's not bad for the sound you get and maybe if you can adjust them better than I have maybe you won't have that issue because I know a lot of people like the uh Galaxy Buds say they're great and they can listen to them forever. My, at least my ears can't do it. They just weren't comfortable and these give me a very similar feeling. But yeah, these are the Neurophones headphones from Neurophone. Near, 
noise canceling, uh, just really, really good sounding headphones. Uh, they have, I don't hear much about these. I think, you know, when, when they first came out, I think a, a few reviews came out on them. I don't, I don't remember them being overly positive or negative. I actually think I'll go rewatch some, see what they said, see if it falls in line with my, per, my personal experience. But, um, if you are in the market for good headphones and, um, you don't want to spend the three, four hundred bucks for, I mean, I won't even say Beats. We, we don't talk about Beats. But for the Sony's or the Bang Olsen or the Master and Dynamics or the Bose or the Sennheisers or the, what's it called? The V-Mods. Is it V-Mod? Yeah. Um, and the, this might be the way to go. And the fact that you, you can try it out for a, a month, that's 30 days to decide if you want to keep this subscription going. It might not be the worst thing. If nothing else, for 30 days, you can ex experience your music on the go, how it was meant to sound to your ears. Because that little piece, that personalization feature is amazing. That is really what sells these. That counters the discomfort because just hearing it for those two hours sounding that amazing, your song that you've always played, songs that you have yet to hear, these things really f fill out what you were missing all those years or weeks or months with regular headphones. Not so much, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I would, ha I would have to say even some of the higher end ones that I have, these do sound better because of just how they are built. This here, these buds with the cups all around it is a very, very smart take on headphone. It gets so much more sound to your eardrum. It's just really good. Well, well, anyway, that's it. I just want to share this with you, you guys. These here are the newer, newer phones from the Newer Now subscription service and this is what I'm into later